Hello, I'm Lucinda from Acuity Training. I'm going to show you how to bring in an Excel chart into a PowerPoint presentation. This is the chart coming from Excel and I'm going to show you how to link it from Excel into PowerPoint. So if the chart has any updates, it will update in the PowerPoint presentation. Let's open up uh, the PowerPoint presentation that the chart, the Excel chart is going to go into. Here it is. And I'm going to put the Excel chart at the end of the presentation. So I'm going to click on my end slide and I'm going to produce a new slide with a title only. And I'm going to call this linked Excel chart or graph. That slide is now ready to accept my linked Excel chart. Let's find my Excel chart now. So I'm just going to minimize that down. And my Excel chart is just here. Here it is. My data above and my Excel chart below. All we have to do is select the chart that we want to bring in to the presentation. And we do that by pointing to the edge of the chart. And notice that I get a four arrow cursor which is actually your selection or moving cursor. So this will actually move the chart around as well. And I'm going to copy this chart now by using Control and C. You can obviously use copy in the clipboard or right click and copy would work as well. I've now copied that chart. So I'm going to minimize that down and come back to my PowerPoint presentation. Most people at this point would just paste the chart in as a picture. I'm going to paste the chart in as a linked Excel object, which means that if any changes are made to the chart in Excel, they will then be linked through to the chart in PowerPoint. Let's find out how to do that. Rather than just pasting the chart in as a picture, which is the top part of the paste button, we can come down to paste and paste special. In here, we have two options to paste the image in as a picture or to paste link the Excel chart in as a Microsoft Excel chart object. This creates the link between the two programs, Excel and PowerPoint. And it explains the result of what's going to happen here. Let's actually do it to find out what happens. OK the box. And the chart comes in. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. So I'm just going to point to the corner of my chart and just make the chart slightly bigger. I think I need to reposition it now slightly. Just to make sure it's a bit more central. And we can actually see more of the chart now. This chart is linked. So if we go back to the Excel source chart and data, if we make any changes in here, we'll notice how the chart changes in PowerPoint. So I'm going to choose January's figure for Auckland, and I'm going to type in $3 million or whatever it might be. And we'll see how the Auckland figure changed to 3 million. Let's just do another one. We'll change Auckland for February to 5 million. We can now see that happening just there. If we now go back to our PowerPoint slides, we'll notice that the data has actually changed. There's January Auckland's figure, 3 million and there's February's Auckland figure, 5 million. If it doesn't change, which occasionally it might not, there's a slight glitch, you can just right click and then use the update link button. And that will update any links. This is how we insert a linked Excel chart from Excel into a PowerPoint 2007 and 2010 presentation. Thanks for listening.